I grew up in a town called Daly City. Um, and in Daly City, there's like a lot of Filipino kids there. It's like a Filipino mecca of California. But in the middle of third grade, we moved to a place called Concord. And then I was really different there and there weren't very many Asian kids or even especially Filipino kids. So I think that probably being new coming in the school year, in the middle of the year, and just being shy and like being different like that, that's what I was an easy victim for these, for the jerks that linger in the neighborhood. I'm kind of popular as the rock star kid at oh, okay. the school, so they kind of want to, and I, I've told people that I do martial arts, so I guess they want to test that out. Here or there, people ask me because they're like heated or something if they wanted to fight me. You? Yeah, but I always say no because I hate fighting. But I'm glad it's only that. Man, compared to what I... But they never <laughs> back me up into a corner or anything. They just ask. Okay, well so that's respectful yeah. bullying. <laughs> now it's it's not the the jocks and the metalheads. There's not even a metalhead thing there, right? Because there's only like one metalhead in the whole school. So, <laughs> yeah. so now it's basically the jocks and the nerds. Okay. And I guess I'm kind of a nerd. I've seen other kids getting bullied and one kid in particular it's kind of messed up because he has mental problems and he gets picked on. A couple of times I've actually got picked on for my race of being Caucasian but I'm just thinking in my mind I'm like I'm more Asian and Pacific Islander than Caucasian, so. So it doesn't bother you? Not really, no. Before school started, and we were in the computer lab and stuff, and we were talking about cyberbullying in the computer lab, and yeah, people have committed suicide. I don't see any of this stuff because I don't have any like social media stuff. I've heard of private messages of like stuff like bullying texts and stuff but sometimes it could be in public if it just happens here and there it's no big deal but if the same person keeps kicking on you over and over again then you should probably tell them about another thing i think that some kids maybe they aren't comfortable to, to tell adults is is their family life, so maybe they don't have a good connection with their parents. A lot of them don't. That's one thing about the Oakland situation. There's a lot of, there's hardly dads there that I see. It's just all moms. A lot of kids don't even have a dad, or they barely see him. And maybe their mom's trying to deal with raising four kids and it's all crazy and who knows what, but so maybe they don't feel comfortable to like approach adults and, and say stuff because they don't feel like anyone cares about them. I noticed that a little bit of that vibe going on with, with some of the kids. They just seem kind of bummed in general. Like yeah, they seem like stuff's not good at home. We have a really good open communication with Aiden, him and me and his mom. And you know, we always have talked about that you could tell us anything, you know, we won't judge you or you won't get in trouble if you want to confide about anything like so. That probably helps for, I'm hoping, like that you're just a pretty happy guy and like you're pretty, you don't yeah. seem to, you just tell us all kinds of stuff. You definitely tell me and talk to me about things way more than I ever talked to my parents about. Like well, not, I would never even talk to them about it. You like, my parents are awesome. Well, thank you. If you feel lost, Talk to someone you trust, don't keep it a secret. I'm rolling. Bullied. Bullied. Maybe you're maybe you're the bully, that's why.
you're doing the bullying. I can't believe you bully everyone around your school. Bully? So mean. I don't bully. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs>